on this on paper people will say that kai beats slayer but me as a kai player i think slayer beats kai i think it's probably pretty even guilty gear has a legacy of good balance i think that is the legacy of this game is that it's always been very balanced and it's it's been really impressive because the cast is so different right and versatile very Everyone true. has such different options in Guilty Gear. So, I don't know. I don't think anyone has the advantage in this matchup, personally. Well, Rover Ruck is wasting his burst early, realizing that, you know what? I don't need a burst to fight you, Slayer. I'll just fight you man to man, hand to hand. I don't need a burst. All I need is my blocking and my instant blocking. Ooh. Ooh. First bad DP. As you saw, that string that Slayer did is not safe. He just spent all of his meter to corner to corner carry using two pile bunkers. That was crazy. That was very smart by TT. He did jab and then he did a back dash to bait the uppercut. Yeah, smart stuff. I think Rover Ruckus needs to fight uh, ZT more on the ground. There you go, stay on the ground. Oh, nice uh, throw by uh, Rover Ruckus. You know what? I will say that this match right here, I think uh, Kai versus versus Slayer is kind of like it's M. Bison versus Ryu, right? Where, <laughs> you know, Ryu is kind of better at keeping the opponent out and uh, Slayer has to get in, right, to do damage. He has to, he doesn't really have any projectiles. He's got to get in to do damage and that's kind of specialty is kind of keeping opponents out. Solid pressure, solid defense. Very but true. then they give Slayer some options to deal with that, right? They give his dash some invincibility so that he can kind of guess his way through. I think it's balanced. I mean, that's true. Uh, Rover Ruckus could have ended the game right there with Ride the Lightning in the air, but he decided not to do it. Yeah, must not be a Metallica fan. There we go. 6P run all the way up for that 6P. Uh, ZT must have been jumping up there. Uh, I don't know what he was jumping up there for, but maybe he was jumping up there to bait something. But Rover Ruckus, not falling for it. Yeah, he didn't think to maybe do the FD. This set right here, I think this matchup is a lot about mind games. Very true. And that's what I really like. It's not about who can guess into damage. It's more about the mind games. Ooh, okay. Tries to use the plus frames to extend his pressure a little bit, but I like it. The escape from Rover Ruckus. Ooh, what was that? Some fuzzy guarding? This isn't Tekken. <laughs> you got to choose your defense. Sit or stand. Right now, uh, ZT with the amazing offense right now. Keep it Kai in the corner. Uh, Rover Ruckus jumping straight up to try to get out in situations, but he's just stuck. But he finds a uh, low jab out of his string, and he, uh, he, he capitalizes on it. Yeah, I got to say, man, the strong players, this is a, I was really impressed the first time I came to Maryland and saw how strong the Guilty Gear community was. Really strong Guilty Gear players. And I think you can really tell that by, uh, ooh, just goes under the grinder. That's too bad. Because it was the air grinder, that's why. Oh, and, oh, and he baits it. Oh, and ooh, no Ruckus punish. Down. That could have been big. He was sitting on uh, enough meter for a Roman cancel as well. Wow, that charge stun edge actually hit that far. Wow. Yeah, you know, heavy stunnage I know is a kind of a strange move because unless it's fully separated from Kai, it doesn't really exist. But I was kind of surprised to see it collide with Slayer there. A long time ago, Kai used to throw a charge stun edge and somehow it just faded away into nothingness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he gets hit. Yeah. It's still the same in this game. Ooh, nice 6P. 6P through the 5S. That's crazy. Oh, Ruckus with a random uppercut. But all of a sudden, uh, ZT puts himself in the corner. Rover Ruckus with the chasing down. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He finally gets one of those IAD uh, mix-ups. He's been trying. I think that's the only thing he's tried since we've seen Rover Ruckus on stream, and he finally lands one. Beautiful stuff. Here we go. There are those 2K, the jump 2K combos. I love that juggle up there. He's just like, nah, I don't feel like coming down yet. Nah, I don't feel like I'm a vampire. <laughs> I can fly. It's true. He can fly. Ground is overrated. If you can fly, wouldn't you? I would love to fly. I wish I could IAD to this venue. Nice. You'd be instant air dashing by traffic, laughing at everybody at 695? Yeah. <laughs> I'd save a lot of money on gas. That's very true. Rover Ooh, Ruckus. what a conversion. Rover Ruckus is always good at getting those counter hits with Kai. Yeah, timing, man. You know? I mean, it's, it's sort of like uh, it's a lot of the other fighting games right now where when you know that the pressure is sort of strong, like... That's part of the mix-up, is varying your timing during the pressure to try and catch the opponent sort of, you know, the abare, right? Yep. Oh, and Ooh, oh, ride what? the lightning from the back. No dice. Wake up super by Rover Ruckus. It's pretty good. It's pretty safe. Ooh, it's an air dash again. What's the mix-up? Ooh, that's 6P. I think to bait the throw. Ooh, nice foot team by Rover Ruckus. Uh-oh. Oh, the back dash was perfect. Good stuff from ZT. Here we go. Real tense moment for ZT now. Oh, and ZT jumped. He jumped. That slash always catches people at the end of the round because you get very scared and try to jump. 
Yeah, it's good, man. It's good. I think that's the best normal for this character, Kai, that 5S. It's even better in this game than I think a lot of other Guilty Gear games. Maybe not Slash. It's good. There's a lot of screen coverage in this game. When they move this game to widescreen, it feels like they stretch the characters along with it. Very true. Wow. You know, this is, one thing about being in a corner against Slayer, you're always scared because that command grab. So you're always trying to press buttons to try to get them off you, but ZT's good at making you want to press the button and he gets those, uh, gets those counter hits. Ooh, wait, what was that? How did he jump out? That must not have been meaty. That he was, must have pressed the jump slash too early. That was a back dash cancel, invincibility. And into, actually, into jump back? Yep, you can do that. Crazy. Slayer. Crazy. Oh, no. Well, ZT's in the corner. What would be the way out? Oh, and he oh, got the out. first. I was just going to say, this is going to be a rough comeback for Rubber Ruckus. He has not lost any life in the last 30 seconds. Ooh. Oh, my lord. Ooh. Under that pressure. was so good. Man, I was just about, I was, you know, I was saying earlier that the strength of the Guilty Gear players in this community here in Maryland, like, it really shines in their vocabulary. Everybody is fluent with their characters. If there is a situation, if someone is slightly in the air this way or that way, they will have a button for that. Really impressive. There it is. He finally goes for the empty jump low. All of those IAD mix-ups. That's too bad. He's not able to get too much of a combo. Right, here we go. Let's see if he goes for the same thing again. This time he doesn't even try to leave the ground. Uh-oh, oh, ZT. Big conversion there. Goes for the burst. I love it. Oh, Ooh, catches him with a 6H. He went for a dandy step. Wrong move. Here we go. Oh, he caught him with a raw jumping 5S. Oh, and he does an uppercut input error. Oh, and he didn't instant air dash past that. That is not Ooh. safe. But but it's okay. Uh, ZT still has a chance to come, to come back in this match. It's going to be hard, but he can. Yeah, oh. go ahead. But uh, uh, Rover Ruckus, is, like I said, he's very good at trying to keep ZT out. And once ZT gets in, Rover Ruckus kind of crumbles, but he finds ways to get out also. Wow. Nice uh, forward dash. Rover Ruckus pressing a button once again, not blocking. Uh-oh, Pile Bunker. Here we go. This is going to be... Okay, good stuff. The defense from Rover Ruckus, man. I'm impressed. He's so good at blocking. It seems like when he's getting hit, it's not from a mix-up. It's from, you know, a straight button or something like that. Wow, ZT really taking a chance on that blitz to try to uh, to try to try stop Rover Ruckus jumping. It was good. It paid off. All right, match point for both players. Look at that. There we go. There's that ID. Oh, he tried to run forward and oh, get it into that the grinder. Punish. He caught him with the 2-8. ZT just ran out of meter there. Or tension. Here we go. Ooh, Ooh, six Bs right through it. Look at that counter hit. This is going to be a big combo. Or it would have been if Rover Ruckus hadn't had the burst. I love it. Rover Ruckus has not thrown a bad burst this entire tournament yet. Dude, oh, wow. crosswise heal, upper body invincibility. Ooh, the six P to bait the throw. Ooh, nice throw on the instant block charge of Sun Edge. He was really, re he's really reading a DP on these wake ups. Ooh, the blitz, it goes underneath, unfortunately. Here we go. What's the mix up? Oh, and ZT ducks. Yeah, I don't know. It's so strange to see that. Oh, it seems like the and oh nobody was home for the burst. Yeah, no, no burst. Ducked. He took his burst. No, he didn't get him in the air. Oh, and he does my punch, and he tried to gamble it all, and it didn't pay off for him. Oh, man. Yeah, Roborock is now sitting on match game here. Okay, what's going to be the adaptation from ZT? I feel like he's playing so well, but Rover Ruckus is just so solid. His fundamentals, man, are really shining here. They're, they are shining. Sterling silver. <laughs> like I said, it looks to me like uh, ZT is understanding that each time he uh, tries to apply pressure, he's baiting Rover Ruckus to do an uppercut or press a button. He's just getting those counter hits. Ooh, he went for the 2S there. That might have been biting off a little more than he could chew. Okay, solid pressure. Just trying to raise that guard bar, knowing the next stray hit may kill. Here we go, it's ZT's turn. That Slayer damage. Really trying to bait the DP there. I respect it. That y y uh, F uh, YRC, it's, oh, nice hit throw by Robo Ruckus. Oh, what? what? That he must have catching him jumping out. He must have caught him the back dash that, and tried to jump out. That was a very, very meaty sweep. Very, very meaty. That was crazy. Oh, that was a good time to do crosswise right there. What a block, man. The defense from Rover Ruckus. I'm so impressed. Look at that. Really choosing his offense carefully. The blitz. He goes for the... Oh, he went for the Street Fighter 4 focus attack, but... Oh. 
There we go. Stomps the yard. Goes for the 2K. Ooh, that, that was, was very, tricky. That was very tricky. But Will Roebuck is burst out of this situation. And he uppercuts. No need. Save my soul. Oh, that was very good. He wanted to save his soul for the next round is what it is. That 2S, man. Ooh. Oh. 6H into the DP. Ooh, there's a Vapor Thrust against a, an opponent that's FDing in the air. You don't want to do that. And Rover Ruck is not bursting out of that combo. Would this, would this be the end? Will ZT find a oh, way to get out? Oh, the map behind just for the escape. I like that <laughs> heavy stun edge. Yeah, he, he was definitely biting off a lot there. That yeah, was a big bite. Yeah, Rover Ruck has definitely went for the charge stun edge, thinking that uh, ZT would not see it. Yeah, that was a little too cheeky. Too many cheeks on that. So he ended up biting cheeks. As you can see the damage difference, and when Slayer hits you, it really hurts. Yeah, this character really, really hurts. Especially, ZT is pretty good at putting on safe pressure first to raise that guard bar. Wow, he goes for a risky uppercut with Kai Kiski once again. Ooh, he's got the meter. Here we go. Ooh, the Yo he catches a Yomi. The Yomi block, right? People who, they block crouching, and then they try to stand up. That's what he caught. Oh, once that again, rhythm. the S, Ash after the R. Uh, Charge stun edge and grinder. Ooh, the grinder was too far away. Oh wow, what a punish on that dead angle. That's crazy. <gasps> this could be it. No burst here. There could be a chip situation. That's oh. it. The IAD. He went for so many of those at first. Rover Ruckus is gonna find himself in grand finals. Rover Ruckus, like 90% of the times he did the the air dash. I keep calling it an IED, but it really it's a delayed air dash. The delayed yeah. air dash. Once again, Rover Ruckus playing Kai. Once again, being so in uh, grand finals.